seconds. The Asante Hini. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome His Royal Majesty. Otufu Osei Tutu II, the King of the Ashanti. As we say welcome to the Asante Hene.
want me to do that? Break it up. <laughs> I must apologize, to Your Majesty, for not taking you to the best steel oil in the country. Yeah. Yeah. Since, since the, my band is not available today, we brought you to. It's like the one of the most record, but yeah, yeah. it's Despers, right? So the one with the newest fan theater. This is the Desperados from the hills of Love until out down to Fort State. Yeah. One of the best team bands in the world. Yeah, man. Yeah. Still not his band, but one of the best in the world, most definitely. <laughs> We continue to enjoy the sweet sounds of Desperados. Of course, the seal pan being the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago.
Jamaica back in 1881 with a starting juvie celebrations, right? And these characters are part of the celebrations. Now, they usually come from the hills of Paramen and some other places, remote places in Trinidad, and they transform themselves by painting their bodies blue. They transform themselves into fire, breathing, blue devils. Now, sometimes the past, you have to pay the devil. That's why you see the devil have a net to get your payments. Their mouths are red, meant to symbolize blood. The horns on the head. Show you the devil inside. One of our very many carnival characters here in Trinidad and Tobago. Now there are versions of this. This is the blue one. We have the black one. We have the red one. <laughs> and the idea is that these characters they tease and they play and they have some fun. Does the blue devil above them towering in the back? We have the Moko Jumbies as well. Moko Jumbies, are looking walking, are looking walking, 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 walking. Now, the Moko Jumbies, the first part Moko means that they are the protectors. So they are the protectors of our carnival, towering over us. and protecting and keeping all the evil spirits away. They walk through the carnival on stilts, usually about eight to 10 feet high. And of course, the costumes are magnificent, representing different things, different tribes, different aspects of our culture. Right. So now I want to I want to bring it a little bit closer to you, Your Majesty. If that's alright with you. We have a gentleman here representing Desperados. Now in the early days of Steel Pan, they didn't have all these fancy stands and all that stuff. They used to put the pan around their neck and walk through the border street playing pan, right? We have now we have music trucks and we have steel pan trucks and all that sort of fancy things. But in the original days, we had a pan around the neck. So we're gonna take you back in time a little bit. And we're gonna mix it up and keep it nice and fun. Let's go. Blue Devils, Blue Devils, Blue Devils. Excuse me, excuse me a moment. Excuse me, Blue Devils. Thank you. If you know it, you can sing too. Party in the...
come on, we continue to celebrate the Desperados. Uh, I just want to take a quick pause while we um, get ready for the next special woman, but I want to mention somebody very special who's in the audience here this evening. She's going to be representing Trinidad and Tobago, Miss Will Pageant, coming up in December. So I thought I'd just let her come and say hi to everybody so we can see our representative for Miss Will. Give her a round of applause, Miss Ashley Abrahams. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Appreciate it. Your Majesty, are you ready now? Because the band is ready for you. experience your majesty yeah so now you need a steel band at home you're gonna <laughs> Thank you very much.